Yo, what's up, guys? Um, my name's Venom. So today I'm gonna be just showing you guys how to do trickshot syncing with the regular in-game clip and the kill cam. So just uh, drag in your song and your clip. <gasps> Disable. Ooh, my bad. This is it. Okay. And then disable the sound on the clip. So I I assumed you've made all your markers and stuff. I'm not gonna go through that just to save time. So you wanna find the beat, the like the shot, the frame of the shot. Okay, so it should be here, I think. Awesome. So now we have of this with a bit of time and then starts doing this stuff. Spin. Shoot. So right here on the shot you wanna split it. And then go about like like the faster your song the more beats you want to go forward so say if you have like a really fast drum and bass song you want to go like say three or four but for this song i'll just go like one two yeah okay that seems good so now you have that you it's all split and stuff <coughs> drag on twixter Okay, now I just change the frame rate to 59.94. Image prep, contrast, edge hearts, frame and uh, motion way to blend, um, motion uh, warming, English with smart blend, and main VG layer settings, 100% sensitivity. Okay, so now it shouldn't do anything. Just go to the frame of, of the shot. Okay, here. And then go one frame back, keyframe the speed at 100, go one frame forward, and then change it to about 350. And then just hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And then go in between the beats, so about there. Change the speed to about 40, 40 to 50, depending on the song. And then back on the beat, you want to do the same, repeat the process, so 350. And then in between is 40. And then last beat, 350. <clears throat> now just select all the keyframes and then easy ease them by pressing F9. Or if that doesn't work, then right click with them selected. Uh, go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. So that just makes them like a weird shape. And what it does is it like smooths the transition from one another um and yeah so now you want to go to the lower keyframes so like the 40 thing yeah and you can try you can just keep it like this again it depends on your song you can just keep it like this and it works fine but for this song i find that if you hold shift and drag these handles out you just drag these handles out it's a lot faster I uh, know it seems a lot smoother to me like it's a, what this does is it stays slower for longer and it's a, like it jumps a lot faster so it goes really slow and then suddenly faster slow faster and yeah so if I just quickly run preview as you can see like on the beat it goes really fast and then here it goes really slow. Oh my bad. Here it goes really slow. And then fast, slow, fast. Now on to the kill cam. So I'd recommend for the opening clip you'd leave like a few beats for like cinematic. So then I'd like go back here. Okay, so you want to drag clip in again on top this time. And then this time you want to drag all the way to the kill cam. Oh, let me zoom out a bit. Jeez, this is a long clip. Okay. Oh, too far. So, say you have your cinematic here. So, yada yada yada. And then it transitions here. Now you want to find. 
Don't don't put the whole kill cam, just put like a bit of it. Because you already saw the shot here. So maybe like sync it around here. Oopsies, I don't know why they're in the kill cam, but lots of flashes and what are they? Okay, so right there. And then just split the clip. So now as you can see, it won't be all of the kill cam, but yeah anyways uh you want to split the clip just the same as last time this time drag it on where it's spinning drag twixer on to where it's spinning and then go to the first frame Ooh, yep forgot the settings so you know i put that all right so now you have that, just keyframe speed at 100, and then go back one frame, oh my bad, my bad, okay, don't do that, <laughs> go back one frame, and then keyframe it at 100, just bring up the keyframes, then go back one another frame, and then try, since um, when he's spinning, like just try it a bit faster, so maybe like 370 this time. And then the slow 40. And then 3. Uh, not, yeah, 370. I know, it, like, as you can see, it's already on the flash, but we'll fix that. Oh, that should be it. And then in between 40. Back and forth. Just move that over. So now you have this. Fast. So yeah. Oh, um, just a tip. When he's spinning, you want to keep the frame rate at a thousand. So it just reduces, like, a like a, a lot of warping. Because if I change it back to 59.94, you can see there's still like a bit of warping. And if I put it back to 1000, that warping's gone. So, like I said, the same as last time. Easy ease. Use the graph editor, pull the handles. Again, you don't have to do this. Well, it depends on your song. <coughs> But for this song, it suits it. This okay, so now you have that jump. And yeah. So the problem is that the shot's not where we want it to be. So now to bring up the uh, time remap, you um, Alt Command T or on Com. On uh, Windows, that's Alt Control T. Now go to the beginning of the where he's like spinning, make a keyframe, and come to the end. So one keyframe before the end, and then just make the keyframe. Now what you want to do is get this end keyframe and just drag it to the right until you get to a frame before the muscle flash. Actually, you can just put it on the model flash. So now, it goes on the same frame. Wow. Okay. Now, for the la last but not least, it's to reload. So just drag on the twister. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yeah. So, again, since he's reloading, we don't need as much um like frame rate this time so remember the settings Ugh. i wish it could wish you could preset this stuff but you can't sadly so anyways go back one frame keyframe speed at 100 go forward one frame this time since it's um slower since the like this part is really slow, it like slows down in the kill cam. 
I want to change it to about uh, 450, so 100 more than what you would normally do. And then, same as last time, going to in between the clip, this time, 40, 450, Forty, fifty, four, fifty. Awesome. So again, we just these. Uh, I'm pretty sure by now you get the point. Oops. And sometimes you have to let go of your mouse first before you let go of shift, because if you let go of shift, it goes all wobbly again. So, click, go. Oopsies. Oopsie. Awesome. Okay, so now that's officially finished, so let me just run through here. Okay, so since if you notice, like that was a bit slow, uh, maybe you can try like 550 or something. Okay. So that that looks better. So that's just about it. Um, I'll pause this recording and then like I'll come back and show you what it looks like with all that like screen comps and stuff. So I'll be right back and yeah. <coughs> Oh, what's up guys, I'm back. So, um, I just added, like, CC and stuff. And, yeah, I just want to show you people's. So, um, let it just render quickly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And, yeah, peace out. Ooh.